Hi, welcome back. In my previous video, we discussed about port-based VLANs. Now we are going to talk about tag-based VLAN. But before we are going to talk about tag-based VLAN, we just want to discuss about inter-VLAN routing or inter-LAN routing. So try to understand this one, guys. So previously, we found some challenge. What is that? If you see here, the port number 1, we configured as 192.168.11.0 slash 24 subnet and we have isolated from port 2 and port 3 right and port 2 what did what we did we configured 192.168.12.0 subnet and port number 3 we configured it as 192.168.13.0 slash 24 so we configured three different lands right guys so now the problem is that they don't have any communication between one LAN to another LAN. For example, if I connect my PC on port number 3, I am not able to communicate to port number 2, which means the subnet of 12, and I am not able to communicate to my subnet number 11.0. So this is the problem that I am finding, guys. So similarly, if I connect my PC on port number 1, because I am getting the subnet which is 11, I am not able to communicate to 12, and I am not able to communicate to 13. So we need to enable interlan routing okay guys let's go and see where to do this so it's very important guys in case if you want to do intercommunication between one lan to another lan then we are going to configure interlan routing so how to do this so let's go and access my dretech router which is here and the default username is admin and default password is admin. Right now I have connected on port number 3. So now what I am going to do now, let's go to the LAN and click on the general setup. You can able to see this is the setup that we have done it. Right guys? Now you can see here there is a inter-LAN routing in the down. So right now LAN 1, LAN 2 and LAN 3, they are not able to communicate each other. So I'm going to the LAN 1. I'm telling you that LAN 1 can talk to LAN 2 as well as LAN 3. Then LAN 2 can talk to LAN 1 and uh, LAN 2 by himself is going to talk and as well as LAN 3. All right, guys. So that's what I'm trying to do here. So click OK now. Then now what we are going to do now. So we have enabled the interlan routing. So now open the command prompt. Let's go and open the command prompt. So right now, what's my IP address, guys? Let's go and verify it. How to check that IP address? So I'll keep it here so that everybody can see. The IP address is 192.168.13.100. So now I'm trying to ping 192.168.11.1. Thank you. Then 12.1. Thank you. Now what I can do, instead of typing 13.1 to access my Dretech router, I can just type 11.1. .1. See, I am able to access. Then if you type 192.168.12.1, I'm sorry, 192.168.12.1, then you can able to access it. So previously it doesn't happen. Why? Because we are not enabled interland routing. So if you want to enable interland routing, it's very simple and straightforward, guys. Just come to the Dretech router and you can just log in here. Username admin, password is admin. Say login. Click OK. Then after that, go to the LAN. Then click on general setup. And you can see here there is a interland routing. You just enable this. Then automatically it starts communicating from one LAN to another LAN. That's the beauty of your Dretech, guys. So this is what exactly how the interland routing is going to work. Let's move back to my whiteboard. So I just want to give you some overview here. So we have configured port number one as 192.168.11.0 slash 24. Port number two, I have configured 192.168.12.0. 
and port number 3 I have configured 192.168.13.0 so when you configure it first time I don't have a communication between one LAN to another LAN so when I try to communicate from 11 to 12 I don't have a communication even from 13 to 11 we don't have a communication which means each and every LAN they are not able to communicate each other so to communicate each other you need to enable interlan routing so once you enable the interlan routing the DATEC router is going to act as a gateway between these three lands anyway it's acting as a gateway at the moment so that it enable the routing so that the, when packet is coming from 11 to 12 it's going to route and 11 to 12 to 11 it's going to route same thing it's going to route from 11 to 13 and 13 to 11 same thing for 12 to 13 and 13 to 12 so this is called interland routing guys it's very simple and straightforward that's what we discussed in this video for sales please send us an email sales at datawise.com for support please send us an email support at datawise.com i hope this has been informative and i would like to thank you for viewing